We're interested in the deep understanding of this dialogue between nature and architecture. I think there is so much to be done in this direction for the moment. So this exhibition is really very much about how we can show a certain direction. Arctic uh, Nordic Alpine is an exhibition for Aedis we started uh, conceptualizing quite some few years ago, uh, where we're looking at architectures in vulnerable uh, landscapes and how these extreme conditions actually does influence the architecture and how the architecture influences these particular situations or regions. Snow Hatta combines always um, the nature with the architecture and debates it very, very nicely. And especially in times like this where sustainability and circular economy becomes more important, this is a perfect example how the harmony between our nature and the architecture, including our contribution with light, can be embedded into the environment. I think this exhibition is trying to show also in the way is portrayed through the models, uh, through the films, um, what we're wanting to say. The architecture is in many ways insignificant. If you start looking at the large landscapes, they are embedded within. And this we've tried to capture through the way we've looked at scale and architectural models in scale where landscapes are more important than the objects. Our approach always was not only to honor important architects. It is for us very important to um, honor um, a very good architecture. And especially Snohetta has proven in the last 30 years that they have a totally different and new approach to architecture. It's a very interdisciplinary approach and uh, it uh, also means to be a very social uh, office where not only one personality comes into the uh, focus, but the whole team plays a very important role. And for us, that was one of the main reasons to honor uh, Snohetta for the Architect of the Year 2020. In the long run, we are quite aware of the influence that architecture and the change that is happening once you start doing projects in, in vulnerable landscapes. But we also see that there is an overload of, for instance, visitors in certain areas around the world. And these areas can probably not be shut down because that would mean that too many people are suffering locally. Uh, but maybe we can create projects where time is slower, where the visitors come in and show more respect to the situation there uh, within. Maybe we can manage to get more of a conscious relationship to this peri perific uh, situations so appreciated um, by so many.